Hi, I'm Sailor Moon, champion of justice. On behalf of the moon, I shall right wrongs and triumph over evil. Today, I'm going to show you how I met Luna, that yakety yak cat from outer space, and became a wicked cool superheroine. So, get ready for some major moon action. Here we go! Moon Prism Power! Don't touch that remote, or Queen Barrel might zap your TV and turn it into a jelly donut. Yum. Be right back. Move now. I mean, step to get some munchies or something, because I'll be right back. Looks like I bit off more than I can chew. As if. I mean, I am numero uno at chowing. Besides, when one of your girlfriends is monster bait, hey, you gotta be there, you know? Even with all my major cool Sailor Moon powers, I really thought I'd be toast. Don't book it, because I'll be right back. And if you're not here, I'll be majorly bummed. In the world is believing in yourself. I mean, especially when your grades are south of Antarctica, or you've got a serious coordination problem, or you're totally freaking when you're supposed to be brave and strong. But unless you try, I mean, you'll never know what the real you can do. So set your mind on it, and you'll find out anything is possible. I mean, if I can be a superheroine, imagine what you can be. <laughs> and now, Remember that boy Darian who was making fun of me? Well, I think he like majorly likes me. See, when a guy calls a girl silly names, I mean, maybe it's because he's too shy to tell her what's really on his mind, which is her, or in this case, me. <laughs> too bad for him, I don't like it. Anyway, in our first episode, Luna taught me how to become Sailor Moon, and then Tuxedo Mask saved me. Oh, what a hunkster. <laughs> so don't go away because I'm coming right back. Hi again! You know, I get so much fan mail, the post office gave me my very own zip code. The problem is, it's so hard to find time to write back. I mean, especially when you've got comics to read and french fries to eat and there's a sale at the mall. So, I'm sorry if I owe you a letter. Anyway, here's one from Bobby Siegel in New York City. Bobby says, Dear Sailor Moon, how come you're so totally clumsy? Well, Bobby, here's a question for you. How come you're so totally out of it? I mean, do you think I actually fall down on purpose? Like, even? Anyway, here's another one. This one's from Jesse Kasman in Atlanta, who wants to know, is there any room in the sailor troop for another sailor scout? <sighs> Sorry, Jesse, the answer is no. But remember, you don't have to be a sailor scout to help save the world. I mean, there are other things you can do, like recycling. If you find any old candy bars, packages of gum, or boxes of cookies cluttering up your desk, just send them to me. <laughs> Anyway, your letters are giving me a humongous appetite. Now, about my friend Amy. When I first met her, I was sure she was one of those Einstein types who knew everything except how to have a good time. I mean, we were so majorly different, I didn't think we'd get along at all. Which just goes to show how totally wrong you can be about people. I mean, you can't judge a movie by its poster. So, watch how Brainiac Amy becomes Sailor Mercury. Free! And that means you. I'll be right back. Oh no! One of those mutants from the Negaverse has Amy in a totally bad way, and it's up to me to save her! I know I sound majorly brave, but inside I'm just a quivering mass of fine jello. Mmm, I have lots of whipped cream and a cherry on top. Hey, where's my snack break? Don't touch that dial, or the Negaverse might melt your TV! I'll be back. I always thought school is a major drag, but Brainy Amy kept telling me to stop being such a slacker. I mean, she said learning new stuff at school could be fun if I paid as much attention to my homework as I did to Triple Dip Hot Fudge Sundays and Sailor V comic books. Oh, as if. Then she said to do my homework first and watch TV later, get a good night's sleep and eat a healthy breakfast. Well, I'm going to try it, especially the part about the breakfast. I'll have a big stack of pancakes and fruit with a big scoop of bubblegum ice cream on top. Mmm, maybe then I'll get A's like Amy. And if I can do it, you can too. Oh, hi! Sailor Moon here, champion of justice. On behalf of the moon, I shall right wrongs and triumph over evil. Today, I'm going to show you how my new friends Ray and Lita became superheroines like me. So, get ready for some prism power action because it's moon magic time. Don't change that channel or the Negaforce might zap your poodle in the pudding. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't go away. And that means you. I'll be back. Do you think a bad hair day is no fun? Try getting stuck on a bus to nowhere. I mean, Luna was there too, but hey, she is just a cat, okay? I'll 
All she ever does is yak at me. Do this, do that. Then Ray, the girl from that cool temple, got sucked into the vortex, too. Oh, talk about confusing. I mean, what was she doing there? Was she from the Negaverse? Stick around while I snarf a snack. I'll make it quick. Don't worry. Did you believe all those ugly green buses just vanishing into thin air? I mean, why can't they all be pink? It's too bad we can't make all that grody brown smog just disappear, too. <laughs> but there is something you can do about it, like encouraging your parents and friends to carpool, or take a bus or a train instead of a car, or use your feet to walk or bike instead of driving. The lungs you save may be yours. Now, it's Sailor Secret time. Did you know that Queen Beryl's henchmen are named after minerals? And Queen Beryl is, too. Guess that's because they've got rocks in their heads. <laughs> Remember, you heard it here first. In today's show, I met Ray and found out she was Sailor Mars. And together, we saved a bunch of girls from a bus to the Negaverse. Oh, being a superheroine's major work. I need to take a quick snooze. But don't you take one, because I'll be right back. <laughs> I almost forgot, it's mail time. Oh, silly me, I am getting so popular. The postman said he'd buy me a fax machine if I would just persuade my fans to send fan faxes instead of fan letters. Oh, let's see, here's one from Stephanie Guerreri in Wayside, New Jersey. She said, Dear Sailor Moon, what are those goofy round things on your head? Goofy? Like even? You just wish you had something as unique and beautiful. Only Darian would stop calling them meatballs. Okay, here's one from Rachel Sonsky in North Hollywood who wants to know, why does Sailor Mars have such a bad temper? Well, Rachel, personally, I think that's because she eats too many veggies and not enough fun food. She could use a few hot fudge sundaes. So could I. Not a bad idea. Well, that's all the letters for now. I want to tell you about my friend Lita. When she transferred to my school, all the kids were scared of her. They said Lita was a real thrash and trash karate expert who got kicked out of her old school. No one will go near her, except me. I wasn't scared at all. Well, okay, so I noticed she had an exceptionally well-stocked lunchbox. Anyway, we became great buds, and now those negadweebs had better think twice before messing with us. Because with Lita on board, they're toast. Burnt toast. Don't touch that dial or your hair's gonna get split ends. And that means you. I was in one major uncle predicament. Game Machine Man had me ace, even with all my Sailor Moon powers. You'd think I'd be scared, but nope, not me. I was cool as ice. In a microwave. Do you think if I start crying really loud, this nega creep might back off? Don't fool with that remote or Game Machine Man might get you. I'll be right back. Lita makes the way coolest Sailor Jupiter, doesn't she? That girl sure likes action. I am so glad she's on my side. Of course, there are other ways to resolve differences, like talking about it. And if that doesn't work, try shouting about it! <laughs> Just kidding. The important thing is to listen and hear how the other person feels. I mean, maybe your differences aren't as great as you think. So, listen first, yell later. That's my motto, even if I don't always follow it. See ya! Hi-ho, I'm Sailor Moon, champion of justice. Today, I'm going to show you how Sailor Venus and Artemis joined me and the other Sailor Scouts, and how we all discovered our grand destiny. Pretty heavy stuff, huh? So, get ready for some major moon action. Here we go, moon prism power. I'm coming back, so don't touch that dial or the Negaforce might zap you. I'll be right back, so don't go away, or I might start crying. So there we were, about to get squished. Tuxedo Mask was hurt, so he couldn't help us. Hold on. Okay, like I was saying, we were about to get flattened like road pieces. Hmm, speaking of which... Hey, excuse me. Oh, just watch, you'll see what happens. Don't go away, because there's more Major Moon action coming up fast. Oops, you caught me. Okay, so I love to chow down. But now, thanks to the other Sailor Scouts, I'm eating fruits and vegetables more often, drinking lots of water, and getting plenty of exercise. Well, that part's easy, since I have to run around saving the world all the time. Hey, it's 
sailor secret time. Did you know that Sailor V was a sailor even before I was? Artemis kept her busy fighting crime and saving the world, and she was so cool, they even made a movie and a video game about her. In today's episode, you saw how the Sailor Scouts teamed up with Sailor Venus and Artemis to defeat Malachite and Zoysite. Now that all of us are working together, we're a pretty fantastic team. Megasport, beware. Remember, when we first met, we had no idea who the Moon Princess was. Do you? If so, don't tell, because if you keep on watching, we'll all find out. Mail time! I wish I could answer them all. Let's see. This one's from little Jesse Wernick of Burbank, who wants to know, can boys be Sailor Scouts? <laughs> As if. The answer is not on your life, Bean Brain. <laughs> Let's see. This one is from Ian Crawford of San Mateo. He says, Dear Sailor Moon, what are your favorite and least favorite subjects? Ah, well, that's easy. My least favorite is dieting. Okay, so it's not really a subject, but the very thought of not being able to eat whatever I want is just too much to bear. As for my favorite, well, since there aren't any classes in shopping, I'd have to say music. I love all kinds of music, from elevator to country and everything in between. If only I could sing, I could have been a big star. <laughs> well, that's enough for now. I want to tell you more about Luna and Artemis. Before they came to Earth, they had really important jobs on the moon. Of course, that was before Queen Beryl went and wrecked the place. Guess that's why Luna thinks she can boss me around so much. Why can't she just chill like Artemis? I know what'll really get her goat. Do you know Luna has a boyfriend? A big, fat oaf of a cat named Hercules. So there, Luna, your secret to Alk. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Luna. Don't touch that remote. I'll be back in a sec. And that means you. Talk about a toasty elevator ride. There was no way out of getting royally roasted unless I transformed into Sailor Moon. Then Darian would know who I really am. Oh, what a panic attack moment. That fungus face Zoysite had me in a major bind. If you were in my place, what would you do? Don't change that channel or the Negaverse might get you. I'll be right back. Poor Darian got injured by that nasty virus Zoysite. You probably won't ever run up against Negaverse Dweeb. But anyone can get hurt if they're not careful. <laughs> like rushing around too fast without looking where you're going and taking a fall. Happens to me all the time. So I'm trying hard to pay attention to what I'm doing and where I'm heading. I try so hard not to be an accident waiting to happen. I can't help it. Take it from me. Just take your time. It's safer. See you soon. Hey there. Sailor Moon here. Champion of justice. On behalf of the moon, I show right wrongs and triumph over evil. Today, we're going into the past to find out where Luna came from. As for the future, I don't know, don't ask me, raise the psychic. So, here we go, moon, prism, power. Don't mess with that remote, Queen Beryl might zap you. I'll be back. Don't go anywhere, and that means you, I'm coming back. So now you know what happened to Queen Serenity, my lunar mother. I never liked Pharaoh before, but now that ugly, sport-faced spawn of a snake is gonna pay big time. But first, I've gotta take care of that negative malachite. Be right back, so stick around, or I'll be majorly bummed. Found out there's more to being a princess than waving a wand and wearing cool clothes. It's like growing up. I mean, sure, you get more freedom and control of your life, but that means new responsibilities, too. Like taking out the trash for your mom before she has to nag you, and cleaning up your room and doing your homework without even being told. Growing up's fun, but don't forget your responsibilities. Okay, it's Sailor Secret Time. Remember that cool party they were having on the moon? Well, guess what? It was a party for me, the moon princess. I just gotten engaged to Darian, the handsome prince of the earth. And then that horrible Queen Sparrow came along and spoiled everything. I can't stand that wicked nega fungus. So, the sailors and I found out how Sparrow wasted the moon and how Queen Serenity, my lunar mother, saved me and the other princesses so we could fight again. Which we'll be doing again in just a second. So, don't book out on me. Love getting fan mail, especially when it comes from faraway places like San Francisco. Let's see, this one's from Charlie August. He says, Dear Sailor Moon, 
If you're such a big scaredy cat, how come you always end up fighting the Negaverse instead of running away? Well, I read somewhere that courage is when you're scared silly, but you do the right thing anyway. Yes, that means me, especially the scared silly part. <laughs> this letter is from Jordan Beck of Chicago, and he wants to know how I can eat so much junk food and not gain weight. Well, it must be those industrial strength workouts they get fighting Queen Barrel. Or maybe it's just good genes. Do I know? These letters give me a humongous appetite. Hmm, I wonder if any hamburger places deliver. Of course, if you're a sailor scout, you've got to watch out for strange delivery guys, because you never can tell who's going to turn out to be some sneaky weasel from the Nagaverse. Speaking of which, you've got to stick around for the next episode of my show, because it's a biggie, the major mission to end all missions. Barrel finally pushes me too far. No more Miss Nice Girl. Get this. Barrel's brainwashed Darian into believing he's my enemy. As if. Oh, things were so much simpler back when I was just playing Serena. Sometimes I wish I could just forget about this moon stuff. Luna says be careful what you wish for, because you just might get it. So what's wrong with that? Oh. Don't change that channel, and that means you. I'll be back. This is almost too much for one princess to bear. I mean, first, all my Sailor Scout friends get zapped trying to protect me. And then Darian, my heroic tuxedo mask, fighting for the Negaverse? Oh, the nerve! And then, just when I'm finally getting through to him, Queen Barrel blasts us with all she's got. Oh. Don't touch that remote, or the Negaverse might melt your TV. I'll be back. Things started out in the dumps for me and the Sailor Scouts. I mean, I was big time scared, but I knew I couldn't give up, because if I did, Pharaoh and her negascum would have taken over the world. What it comes down to is, no matter what happens, you got to be true to yourself and the people you care about. I mean, I might complain a lot, but when it comes to my friends, well, a girl's got to do what a girl's got to do. Besides, everything turned out all right in the end. See you around! Deep.